everybody. Are you a mom who has recently just had a baby or your second baby or your fourth baby and you're kind of like, what am I doing with my life? This is not what I pictured. I love my baby, but ugh. If that's where you're sitting right now, I wanna share with you a little nugget of hope that I received last week. First, I wanna share a little story with you. When I was pregnant with my first daughter, I was currently working at a job where I was pretty well regarded. I made good money, I had nice clothes, and I, you know, I received a lot of accolades and fulfillment from the work that I did. And about halfway through my pregnancy, I started thinking and praying about what am I going to do with this little baby? You know, when she comes, am I going to stay home? Am I going to put her in daycare? Like, what am I going to do with this baby? Because I love my job. I loved my job. And so I'm thinking, well, what am I going to do? So after quite a bit of thought, it became fairly evident that I wasn't going to be able to leave her with anyone. And I, I don't have anything against daycare or nannies or anything like that. It's just the certain, the, the specific circumstances for us weren't going to work. And so I talked to my husband and I'm like, okay, you know, are we going to be able to do this? Can we make this work financially? And of course, neither of us had any idea what we were getting ourselves into, but we were like, yeah, well, we make things, you make this much. Okay. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. I put in my two weeks and quit my job. And I remember that first day, I'm a stay at home mom. <laughs> and then it kind of hit me that I had just traded my fancy work clothes, my drinks after work and my freedom and the accolades and everything that I was getting from my job for a little tiny terrorist who only wanted me for one thing and didn't really care how fancy I was or what kind of a job I could do. She was just, she wanted what she wanted and if I didn't give it to her, then started the terroristic activity. <laughs> I joke, but really it hit me like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? What am I, who am I? How do I define myself? What have I done? <laughs> and that's where this little tidbit of hope that I got from Danny Silk uh, a couple weeks ago at my mom's group, that's where that this little nugget of hope comes in, is in this situation, in this season that I'm in right now. So when Danny came to our mom's group, he spoke for about half an hour with just some amazing stuff, and then it was opened up for some questions. And one of the first questions was, how do I, as a woman, feel empowered and important and all of that when I'm at home with my children because so much of you know women's empowerment is based around like what job you have or what do you do it's not really the world doesn't really look at us as stay-at-home moms or as moms in general and value that the way I think they that it's sh that we should be valued Danny answered the question just beautifully and the first thing he said was he referenced his wife Sherry and he said you know Sherry always says that you can have it all just not at the same time and that's a real important piece of this is accepting that throughout the different seasons of your life you, you will probably have it all uh, you know whether it's you're making a lot of money um, you're you're a mom and then you know, moving into the empty nest and, and having more money and, and all that. So you will have it all, just not at the same time. So I thought that was really great in just remembering where I'm at right now that the next season ahead of us, I don't know what that's going to be, but it's going to look different. And there will be pieces that we will have that we didn't have before. And the second thing that was equally as important, if not even more powerful for me, was to own your season. So whether that means that you are a stay-at-home mom like me and my validation is typically coming from my husband and my family and my friends, those around me, or you are a working mom and you're out and some of this validation is coming from your professional job, the whole point is to own that season. If you work, okay, own it. That's, it's okay, it is what it is in this season. If you stay at home, Okay, it is what it is, you know. So, so basically, just own it and learn to be content with where you're at. And if you don't like it, 
instead of feeling powerless in this situation, own it, get your power back, and either say, okay, I'm going to be in this season, or the question that he asked us at the very end was, if you're not happy, what are you going to do? Don't feel powerless. Uh, because you certainly are not powerless. It's, it's up to you to make the decision of what you're going to do with your life and whether or not you can be content. We have the power to make that decision. We also have the power to choose a different set of rules or a different season. We have that choice. If you're working and you want to stay home, it might be difficult, but in, in a lot of cases, it's possible. Now, am I saying that you should all just quit your jobs? No, because obviously finances play a part, but with sacrifice and you know, doing things completely differently, is it possible? Probably. Um, if, you're a, if you're a stay-at-home mom and you wanna get a job but you're not sure where to start, again, it's doable. You just, you just have to choose what you wanna do and do it and don't give up your power because you're a mom. And that means that you are powerful. <laughs> Regardless of where you are or what's happening, you are powerful. For those of you that haven't heard of Danny Silk, I would strongly encourage you to check him out. He's on pretty much every social media platform that's out there. He's definitely on Facebook and Instagram, which is where I follow him. He also has a website and we'll, um, in our description below, we'll put some resource material for you uh, to find him. And again, he's got uh, he's got books and podcasts and all kinds of stuff, kind of the master of relationships and family and children and really just being um, a powerful person. And you get to do you. You are powerful and don't you forget it. <laughs> that's basically, I mean, Danny Silk, that's where, that's where a lot of this is coming from, is you are a powerful person. Uh, we hope that you enjoyed the video and we would love it if you would click like and share it if you feel like it was good for you, if you know someone who's kind of in this season of like, what am I doing, ah, <laughs> share. We would love for to be an encouragement to, to your friends and to your family. We would also love to invite you to be a subscriber. We've got, oh, a lot of videos just based on, really based around our family and what's happening and kids and marriage and, and all kinds of stuff. So we would love to have you join us on our journey. We have a Facebook page and we have a blog. We'd love to have you join us in one of those areas. We do a video every week, so hopefully uh, you've enjoyed this and we will see you next week for our next video. Have a good day.